So here is one of Anita's tweets. Each time an angry YouTuber with 250k fans decide to slander and strawman me, the harassment increases exponentially. Really? Repsion, Thunderfoot, Alpha Omega Sin have done nothing more than slander and strawman you, Anita? Have you even looked at any of these YouTubers' videos? I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk. Something is incredibly odd with this picture. Something that has a very powerful stench to it. Hmm. Could all these men could be. I don't know. Cisgendered white men? Oh, why, of course! Only cisgendered white men have the power to create such harassment towards Anita Sarkeesian. Wow, that is a load of shit. And she has picked those four YouTubers who are apparently cisgendered white men out of the hundreds of YouTubers who are either female or non-white male. She seems to be a bit biased, don't you think? And one of her biggest critics of all time is Christina Hoff Summers. And of course Anita Sarkeesian, no, 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 not Anita Sarkeesian, but Jonathan McIntosh and Anita Sarkeesian worked together and told this puppet, Jonathan Mann, to work on a song, quote unquote, debunking Christina Hoff Summers' video. Hi. I really do like your hat, your guitar skills, and your huge vocab. Nobody will ever doubt that. There's so much creativity, presence, and quick wit. Your heavy satire directed at me. I'm not kidding, I really did like it. Unlike your songs, a single jingle repeated again and again and again and again and again. We are not Jack Thompson. We don't want anything banned. You want to ban everything. At least Jack had an exit plan. Quite the opposite. We want the world of games to expand. <laughs> It's kind of like he's saying, I am not a terrorist, I don't want anything slowed, quite the opposite, we want the world of games to explode. All your honey badger episodes, and your epic YouTube rants, but I just watched a bunch of them, it was like an angry hilarious dance. Whoa, whoa, man, the funny hat. We don't agree on much. Not a single counter argument to defend his position. This is how pathetic this man is. And what's really pathetically sad about Anita Sarkeesian that her critics are not only consist of non cisgender white males females, and even transgender folks, but mostly the people who are defending Anita Sarkeesian are cisgendered white males. Uh, you also caused a great deal of distress for somebody whom I'm very fond of, uh, and I can't stress enough that in that regard... I will fuck you over for that one of these days if it's the last thing I ever do. It's a good thing you were joking because that's a massive false equivalency. I agree, but that isn't the argument. The shirt was inappropriate in the context in which he was wearing it. Despite the horrors of the 20th century, including the Armenian Genocide and the Holocaust, there are many humans who think that genocide is a good thing, particularly academic leaders. In fact, it's surprising to learn that genocide is one area of morality that both theological scholars and scientists agree. Oh, hello there, a fetus gamer. Why do you come here to talk about? Would this be okay with you, Dad, Mr. Feminism is in fact in everything, including our food? So I have no idea what calling Thunderfoot a misogynist and a rape apologist has to do with his opinions on the Holocaust and World War II, 
but a clip of my video randomly made it in there. Now, of course, Thunderfoot won't give you a link to this video or even respond to the various arguments as to why I think he's those things. But hey, you know, when you have a PhD in chemistry, you must be completely above intellectual honesty. Most who are defending Anita Sarkeesian on YouTube is apparently a cisgendered white male, not a female. And it's not just defending feminist frequency, but defending feminism as a whole. There are very, very few female feminists that are willing to make video responses to other YouTubers, let alone to actually debate. And the most ironic thing is that we have plenty of women that are either in support of Gamergate or just plain out disagree with Adidas Sarkeesian, which is quite frankly very freaking sad that there are plenty of women who actually is in disagreement with a movement that is supposedly for helping women. Feminism, the so-called movement that is supposed to teach girls that women can be strong, independent people by hiding behind men from any form of criticism whatsoever. And any form of criticism towards any of these feminists is a form of harassment. Oh, the massive horror. These cisgender white men refuse to change. We are strong, independent women. We shouldn't have to deal with this. Let those cisgender white men defend for us, for our honor, because we are strong and independent people. But according to Anita Sarkeesian, if you are a cisgender white man and you are criticizing Anita Sarkeesian, you are doing nothing more than slandering, strawmanning, and of course harassing Anita Sarkeesian. And therefore she has no reason to actually respond to any form of criticism whatsoever. And if you are a female or a non-white male, then of course she's not going to acknowledge that and instead focus on the fact that there are cisgender white men who dislike Anita Sarkeesian. And thus, those cisgender white men who love feminism so much that they're willing to be castrated in the name of feminism are going to find these videos and defend the living hell of Anita Sarkeesian or even feminism in general. May it be Ryan Wiley, Hannibal Vector, Hobbes, or Andrew Norton, or any of these people who are in blue chat are going to go out of the limb to defend the living hell out of Anita Sarkeesian. These people completely deny it, but they see Anita Sarkeesian as more than a human being. She is a god, and she shouldn't come down for any reason to talk to the common folk on YouTube. And the sad thing is, is I really want to have a discussion or a debate with any female feminist whatsoever. I would love to see a feminist respond to my video that is in fact a female. But so far, the only groups of people that are out there who are defending feminism, at least on YouTube, consist of nothing more of cisgendered white males. And here I thought that feminism is supposed to teach that women are strong and independent and they should be able to handle any form of criticism whatsoever. However, most of these female feminists hide like little bitches behind men and demand that these men should handle the dirty work for them. And thus they'll consider themselves strong and brave while the men handle the dirty work. This is what feminism has boiled down to. If you truly believe that women should be equal to men, then maybe the very first thing that you have to do is to stop white knighting these female feminists in order to be able to defend themselves. How about that? Did you assholes ever consider it?
and tell these feminists who are female to step on the plate and handle criticism like every normal human being should, rather than saying that everything that these people have said towards her is either hateful or just plain misogynistic. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.